sweating. I am sweating. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Crazy Fishing is same. My name is Juan. We are back at it again, but this time we're gonna hunt for some cobble yo. So yeah, in the previous video, the first video of the year, we caught some uh, siembras because we targeted some siembras, but we didn't caught, uh, we didn't catch any sizes. But yeah, we're back at it again here at the ocean, and we are going to try for some cobble yo. Just want to show you. As you can see, here's my little little fish box. Got my toothpicks, my little floaties. Got some swivels here, and my hooks, my hooks over here, and sinkers. We do make our own sinkers, and uh, yeah, some hooks and some elastic thread. Some of these floaties uh, uh, came from Stefan's fishing shack. Marius gave us a couple. And this is all you need to catch uh, some fish. Hopefully we do catch some fish. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We don't have that much expensive stuff, but we do come right with, with, with the cheapies. I'm gonna use this little floaty. I think uh, these little floaties, Marius actually gave it to me when uh, we, we, we fished together. And he asked me, can you use it for Cobble Yo? And I said, yes. So he gave me a couple. You can see the difference. In the sizes, here's one, then you get the round one, then you get this one, and he only bought these and these ones, and he asked me can it work, it will most heavily work. So I'm using this small little one today that uh, Marius gave me. Bought myself some soils, as you can see, well, obviously I'm going to make a, a sliding sinker today short sinker line like I've showed you on a previous video of on the on the videos but I'll leave it in the description below how I make my cobble yo rig but yeah two swivels that you need for one rig and then a uh, hook a floaty you need a little to toothpick as well so you can basically if it's on your line there's a little hole there and you can just take the, the toothpick and just press it in there so it keeps it from moving. If that cobble your hits, you'll see it will move a bit down and you just move it up again. But you'll see on this video, if you haven't seen that, you'll see on the, on, the, on the video that I'll leave in the description below exactly how I do it. And then, uh, as you know, I put a little rope on my sinkers and then I put a short little sinker line with a little swivel and then my line with a little swivel and a hook and a, and a floaty. Anywho, too much talking, we need to fish. But yeah, it's Thursday today. I'm probably gonna post this video on Friday uh, if there's any fish coming out. If not, this even intro is gonna be obviously for nothing. I do it a lot of times. I just delete it. But if I do catch something, it will be it will be pretty nice. But anyway, I'm gonna. I've got a visitor. Uh, Martin is coming to visit me. I'm pretty excited. He's coming on Friday. Uh, he's coming on Saturday. Uh, he's coming on Saturday morning, and we're gonna fish a bit. We're gonna pump some prawns. So yeah, if, if I'm not gonna make a video today, I'll just post it on on, on social media that uh, that Martin is coming to fish with me. And Martin, if you don't know Martin, he's the one that gave me the Pro Ek Achter. He's the one that gave me the Akuma uh, Revenza. Man, what an absolutely beautiful reel. I've caught some beautiful fish with it. But I'm gonna fish with him, with his rod and reel that he gave me. He gave me a Drillin 12 foot surf, uh, a Drillin uh, Blue Surf 12 footer. And uh, I'm gonna use that as well. So yeah, he's going to come and visit me. He's gonna sleep over, he's gonna bry a bit. If we don't catch fish, we'll bry. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty excited for him to come and visit me. And uh, you know, it's gonna be the first time he's gonna pump some prawn and all that stuff. He's not from here, he's from Brackenfell. But I think we're gonna have a good day. So yeah, hopefully I'll catch something today, but I just wanna show you exactly what I'm using today. And obviously you need some fresh trucker. These waters are calm. Got a little bit of color but uh, not that much. Yeah, I've made the trace. Alrighty then, here I've got my chocker. As you can see, 
not fancy nothing fancy just a, a little strip like this and I've got two little feelers like this let's see what happens let's throw in like I've showed you here's the Akuma Revenger Pro X and then uh, I've got my 12 foot a drill and 12 foot And that's it, hold your thumbs. Because it's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. <laughs> While we're waiting, we're having a bit of Coca-Cola. Come on, fishies. Unfortunately, it does happen that uh, we just turn this camera. It does happen that the small little fish will take uh, most of the bait. But there's no worries, no problems. Because uh, the small little fish are making some action in, in the water and around the hook. And that will most definitely uh, make those big fish excited. I think so. That's my theory. So leave them. Let them bite those that choker. If you've got some fresh choker, it will it will stay on the hook for for quite a while. But uh, all those vibrations of the small fish eating will most heavily draw the the big fish nearer to your hook. That's what I think. Every fisherman's got their own thoughts, but that's what I think. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. But man, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Like I say, it's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Look at it. There's some bites there. What's going on? You can just take it. Take the bait. Take that beautiful little chocker. And just think how it's swivering there in the water. Up and down, up and down. Luring that couple year room. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. A beautiful color here. For this second video of the year. Smooth. Whew. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Let's measure him real quickly. Just gonna put him in the pool here. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful fish. Well, that fresh chocker came out with the family. 55 centimeters. Wow. It's a beautiful day. Uh, oh. It's a keeper. We don't have any fish in the fridge. 
Look at my eyeballs. We need some fish on our bodies. The ocean delivered today. Thank you so much for those who have purchased a absolutely beautiful measuring mat from Crazy for Fishing SA. Thank you for the support. It's much appreciated. Alrighty, we moved away from the reefs. Rainer, why didn't you fish again today? Bodyboarding. Bodyboarding again. Did you enjoy yourself? It was alright. <laughs> I see the waves are a bit small. Yes. Waters are pretty calm today. Any so yeah, I'm on the beach now, it's starting to push. I don't think I'm gonna stay much longer. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of all these clothes because I'm sweating now. Everybody's here tanning and I'm here standing like it's winter. <laughs> so I threw in here, got a small little couple of I've got a couple of strips left. So I'm not gonna waste it. There's a little bite there. Uh, small little bites. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna finish that off. I'm gonna take two strips home, and then uh, I'm gonna call it a day. Alrighty then, we are back at home. Man, what a disappointment! I'm excited and disappointed at the same time. I've just lost a big fish. I was just thinking I'm going home. And this fish actually took my rod now. Out of the stand, I just ran my head off. Oh, uh, is it up? Oh, is it up? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've lost that one. Don't, don't understand. Well, there you go. It is bitten off. It couldn't pull out because it was a snell knot. So this was pulled off, there was a decent, decent, decent uh, uh, shed, must be, let me clean off, the fight was definitely a big fish, and this was a shed, man, and obviously you know for shed you need to use the, the wire, the steel wire, can you believe it, I lost it, man, that's not good, yes you love it. Mainly I think it was probably a bigger, bigger cobble yo, but I'm using a bit, I'm using a bit of a thinner line for my hook line, um, which was a big mistake, because you never know what's going to happen. If there's a bigger fish, it's going to cut it off. I know I've said it's uh, probably a shad, but I think more likely, more likely it was a, a, a bigger cobble yo. And those teeth can get uh, very gnarly, and uh, I think it just cut me straight off. You know to get it by the mouth you should be you know by a rod and when it bites when it pulls and you, you just pull then we'll pull it in the mouth but I think it went a little bit a little bit deeper I don't think it swallowed it but I think it went deeper and only the line you know uh, sticked out by the mouth and when it shook it 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 just cut that line clean off that uh, hook line needs to be a little bit thicker um, you know I've used this line for many years you can see it's old I think it's about uh, 15 kilogram or 17 kilogram I'm not sure can't really see here but I've had it for a couple of years now but I normally use this for catching on 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 surf where there's sandbanks and stuff there's no not any rocky areas or anything I normally use that well that's I've lost my fish now with that line today that big fish so I'm most definitely going to go back with this line it is a 25 kilogram uh, maxima um, it is this this line is pretty thick and uh, I've used this on the reefs so yeah I'm most definitely going to make my my hook line um, this line I'm gonna use this line because I was pretty disappointed because I mean it could have been a beautiful fish yeah it's just a catch we could have released it but it was a big fish and uh you know to shake that off it's a terrible feeling to know you know what went wrong but i can see it, it the hook didn't pull out because we used the snarl knot it was a bit clean off but sometimes you know you you realize <clears throat> you need to make some changes 
but I'm most definitely going to be use a thicker a thicker hook line. So yeah, that's all. That's all that happened today. Only that's a beautiful little couple yo. It was a, a sizer, so we took it. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Martin is coming this weekend. He's actually coming tomorrow because it's uh, yeah. I'm posting this video today, Friday. So. He's coming tomorrow, I'm pretty excited, gonna pump some prawn, talk with some CM Rust, talk with some Kabulio. I think it's gonna be an absolutely beautiful day, but be on a lookout, that will be in the next video. Hopefully we will catch something, I believe we will, the ocean will produce. But uh, yeah, Martin, just bring bring with us stronger stronger hook line, because these Kabulio can be pretty aggressive. Um, if there's anybody else there, you can tell me what I did wrong. But I know but most definitely for a fact it's it's a it's the hook liner was way too thin. Way too thin. And you don't want to fish with a a steel trace um you know hunting for cobble yo. I mean maybe there's some guys who who does that. I haven't done that before. But normally I use a steel trace for some for some elf, for some shad. I haven't targeted that yet. But could have been a shad, you don't know. I haven't seen the fish, I've just felt that bite and that head shakes and it and it was a pretty powerful fish and i've lost it can you believe it man but still it has been an absolutely beautiful day to have a beautiful day and uh yeah thanks for the absolutely beautiful comments the second video for this year the first video was for we were hunting some siembras and we caught some siembras now we were hunting for some cabalio we caught some cabalio and uh you saw me lost one one decent fish but I could have I felt that it wasn't a 55 centimeter uh, cobalio. It was a bigger cobalio or probably a shad. I don't know. I had some chocker on. I don't know if a shad will take chocker. I don't know. But I've lost that fish and it's not a good feeling. Anywho, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.